You went to college. You had a dream. You were in a situation where you always want to be a fill-in-the-blank. Professors who fawned over you or kicked you in the butt, whichever way it was, and now you're out in the real world and your first real job in that profession, and it's not what you thought it was going to be. And if it can become that, it's 20 years away. What do you do? You're in the profession. You're 15 years in. You've got the decision to make because so far what you found is horrible. What do you do? I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm a career and leadership coach, the head coach for job search coaching HQ.com and no BS coaching advice.com. And I'll just simply say for those of you who are in either of those boats or similar boats like them, you've got decisions to make. Now, it's easier for the younger individual because there are fewer obligations, fewer responsibilities. Usually, you've got student loan debt hanging over your head. You have that stuff. But now is the time to get out. Seriously. I'm not saying to quit your job. Now's the time to start exploring other alternatives. Talking to other people from the university, talking to other people that you know, getting out and about and talking to people. And that's effort on your part, but you've got to put effort in. Because if you surrender to the notion that you're going to be on the conveyor belt on, for the next 20 years until you get to where you want and you're not willing to pay that price, you're going to die a slow death. And you'll never get there because your energy and your your life won't be into it. So you got to start working to get off of it now or block the voices out that are telling you, oh, this is terrible. I'm never going to get to that place where I'm going to do the interesting work. They don't like me. And the other excuses that you give. You see, excuses are a way to talk yourself out of doing something. And you need to do something. And it's easier now than when you're 15 years in. Now, for those of you who are 15 years in, you've got some decisions to make, too. And for those of you who are in that position, I normally will suggest, again, you start the conversations with people. Informational interviews are a great thing to do. And you have conversations with people about what it's like to be working in the next area of interest. Don't know what that should be? Start talking to people who are doing something different or doing something different that's similar to what you're doing and they don't seem to be quite as stressed out as you, or they seem to be happier, or they seem to be moving faster in their career. Find out what they're doing and what it's like and start having those conversations. Do you need to go back to school to get some additional training? Oh, I can't really do that because I've got a family now, I've got a house and what have you. And Well, if you're not prepared to do anything and you just want it gifted to you, you gotta wait a long time for that to happen. Because you got to do something to meet an employer part of the way there. It's the reality to it. So start finding out what you're interested in. Talk to schools. You may have to write some checks in order to get the training to do that. Maybe your current employer has a tuition reimbursement program that will reimburse you for some of those costs. But you got to still take action. You can't just sit there complaining because that's the death of a thousand cuts, just like it is for the fairly recent graduate who's now on the conveyor belt stuck. You're further along the belt. You've got a more complicated story, but it's still a story. It's still an excuse. Until you're prepared to do something about it, watching these videos isn't going to do anything for you. All it's going to do is make you frustrated because I'm not giving you the magic potion that if you take one sip of, you can get to the job that you want. You're going to have to work at it. You have to work at finding that career and finding out what it's going to take to enter that career because otherwise you are trapped. That's the fact of it. You are trapped. And if you're prepared to accept that, click away right now. It just make, will make your life a lot simpler. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm a career and leadership coach. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one work with me where I guide you through the process, kick you in the butt when that's necessary, give you a soft touch when that's more appropriate. My website is thebiggamehunter.us. You can schedule a free discovery call with me where we can get acquainted and see if it makes sense. I also have thousands of other posts about job search, hiring, 
being more effective in the workplace, being a better manager, all designed to help you in your career. Okay, that's really what I do. I help people through the life cycle of their careers. Hope you have a great day and take care.